Hello everyone, I am Holly. You can find me over on Instagram at Holly Beth Makeup, and I'm gonna do a little get to know me, get ready with me, using some old goodies and some newbies. So, I am first going to prime with the Euphoria pregame primer. I'm gonna take about two pumps of that and rub that all into my skin. So first things first, Yes, I am a natural redhead. Second thing a second. Yes, these blue eyes are my natural eye color. <laughs> Those are like the questions I get asked the most. Uh, I got into makeup at a very early age because I loved to do beauty pageants and then I moved on to cheerleading and we did competitive cheerleading, which means more makeup. And then I did some theater in college, which also means more makeup. It has always been a way that I could express myself. So, And I use all cruelty-free products. And I try to use as many clean and vegan products, but I don't like to just like put myself in a box. So I like to try a little bit of everything. For today's complexion, I'm using the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I am in the shade One Neutral. And I'm just going to apply that on a palette. This one is from Danessa Myricks. And a little bit more about me. I have a bachelor's degree in music. I did vocal performance. I have not sang in a long time, so um, don't expect to see a lot of that on this channel, <laughs> unless it's like goofy singing. I am working on finishing my master's degree in elementary education. And if you couldn't tell by my accent, I am from the Southern United States. I wet a beauty blender and I can't find it. So I'm using the e.l.f. little cookies and cream one they came out with. And as far as age, I am 32. I'm a Sagittarius. So hello, fellow Sagittarians. I don't really like deep dive into astrology and zodiac signs, but it is fun to know. Beauty is not my full-time job. I am a child and youth program assistant with the Air Force, and we are about to get into full swing summer camp. So I'll have kids, take them swimming, take them on field trips, just a lot of fun outside of school. And when they are in school, they come see us and we provide activities that kind of coincide with what they're learning at school. So. Working with kids and makeup and music, they're like my passions. Let me know some of yours down below. All right, I just did a very thin layer of that Charlotte's Beautiful Skin. In fact, I have quite a bit left over in my palette, so I will put that to the side in case I need to do any cleanup, but this color is a little bit touch yellow even though they call it neutral but I'm a very pink pale person so it's definitely hard to find a shade match. Before I go in with concealer I do want to take the EXA high fidelity color corrector and I use the shade pink because I have a lot of purples and blues and this has become a staple like I really reach for it nearly every single day you can find it on Credo. What other questions? I am a military spouse. My husband is in the army and he is a Black Hawk pilot. I have a plethora of tattoos and piercings. It's just like, I can't contain my colorfulness. It's gotta be like in my makeup look or on my arms. I have a tattoo of a mermaid on my leg just like my personality. I can't keep it inside apparently. I have to show it <laughs> on the outside as well. Um, spread it between my two fingers. This is hyped up for a very good reason. My mirror's over here, so that's why I'm kind of looking off to one side. And in this concealer, I use probably the shade Fair. Can confirm, shade fair. I love to grow, go, 
I love to go on cruises. I have been on what, five or six cruises uh, before 2020 in the height of COVID. We used to go on a cruise every single year, but we haven't been on one since 2020. Not quite sure I'm comfortable yet to go on one, but I do miss it. I love going new places and seeing different cultures and it doesn't hurt that the tropical climate is just beautiful and amazing. Trying to recreate that in my backyard. I just bought some palm trees. That's one thing nobody tells you. Nobody tells you how expensive trees are. Like I, uh, we're like in a year and a half of owning our first home. Yeah, you want to do some landscaping? Be prepared to pay. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, going in with my first new to me product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This is the shade Fair. And it is a cream bronzer for face and body. So that's why it's so large and in charge. And I'm going to pick it up on a Phytosurgeon's Sky Buff brush. And I'm going to ruin the pretty, ruin the pretty design here. But let's see. I wasn't going to get this, but some of my friends on Instagram tried it and they said, oh, it's too cool for what I prefer in a bronzer. And so I was like, oh, that sounds like something that I, that I would actually like because being red hair and having ginger, orange colored hair, everything wants to pull a little more warm on my skin than it seems to pull on most everyone else. So a bronzer that has a touch of cool tone to it, like this one, seemed like something I would really enjoy. So far, the formula is super creamy. It's blending out effortlessly. And I really like the color. And I will just pinch the brush and take some right down the nose. As well as the jawline. and underneath the chin. Oh, something I do want to address. I have the beauty setting turned off on this camera, but for some reason things still look blurred out. So if you're feeling that like you're not seeing the full texture of how everything is sitting on my skin, please go see my Instagram of how this turned out because I never edit. I uh, do color correct, but I never edit out like blemishes and things on my face because real people have real skin and that's the way we like to keep it around here. Just adding a touch more to my forehead. Next, I'm going in with the Heat Stroke Dewy Gel Tint in the shade Swelter from Make Beauty. And I am just going to tap that on with a Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes number one brush. And I like to do my blush in a C shape. So I typically try not to take it too far past the pupil of my eye and then I bring it up to almost the arch of my brow. And this is a new product to me. I really like how thin it is and I can tell it's not picking up anything underneath. And the sheerness of the product allows for my natural freckles to shine through, which I love. I learned a long time ago to embrace my freckles 
because there's really nothing I can do to get rid of them. And they do fade over time, but now you have people drawing on freckles and just kind of an interesting juxtaposition when you were made fun of them for a very long time in your life. And now people are drawing them on and there's filters. So, so I'm taking my bronzer brush, not adding any bronzer to it, but just using what's left on there to blend the bronzer into the blush. And I always like to add a little blush up on my temples and across the nose, just so everything can be more cohesive. Now that I have bronzer and blush on, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Air. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder in the shade one. I'm gonna tap out any excess concealer and set under my eyes and around my nostrils. And this is a BK Beauty 108 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and set down the eyelid as well. And I like to put powder through my eyebrows so any brow product can stick. Let's see, another fact about me is my favorite color is purple. For highlight today, I'm using the Bionic Glow in the shade Virtual from Milk Makeup. They did send this to me in PR. And I like to put a little bit on my fingers, share it between the two, and then pat it onto the skin. This is an absolutely gorgeous highlighter. And don't let the fact that it is a liquid scare you because it does dry down and it looks gorgeous all day long. You get a generous amount of product. Let's see, there is 0.9, so almost a whole fluid ounce. You could even mix this into your moisturizer on no makeup makeup days. All right. Part of my aesthetic on Instagram is this really beautiful, natural looking skin. And then when it comes to eyeshadow, I really like to play it up. I do do natural looks every now and then, but I really, I like to add color. Can you guess why? So. I am taking the Animal Magic Palette from Pacifica. And of course, I'm gonna start out with some neutrals. I'm going to place this on the outer corner. and the inner corner. And for halo eyes, I like to flick mine up a little more past my crease because I have a heavy brow and it tends to block a lot of the lid. Then I'm going to take the shade Dragon on my ring finger. That's going right in the center to create the halo. And once again, I'm going to pull that shade higher up.
and I like to look straight forward and check and make sure I can see all the colors. And then I'm just going to go back and forth. Working on the blend between these two shades. So somewhere in the middle. It should start to look a little more green. What I'm going to do is take the shade Hummingbird. And Hummingbird is going right on each side of that shimmer shade. So since it is a blue, it'll blue, it'll blend in easy with the first blue shade, and because it's a shimmer, it'll blend in easier with the shimmer shade in the middle. And after that, it's just a game of going back and forth, checking your blend, going back in, adding more, checking your blend, etc., etc. So I'm going to do the other eye. And be right back. All right, now that I have both halo eyes done, I am going to take the shade Stag right here. Another just tan shade, slightly deeper than my skin tone. And I'm going to take that around everything. underneath, all around, and if things get a little too dark, I can go back into Swan, especially underneath my brow bone. And clean that up. Well, I do want to add a inner corner pop so I am taking the eye color in the shade Chill from Silk Naturals and I'm going to take that on a little pencil brush and that's going right in the inner corner. And I'm also going to place it on top of this green from the Pacifica palette because it really pulled more gold and green. What I do have is the glitter pill from Half Magic Beauty. And I can run that All right in the center and I'm extending it all the way up almost to the brow. This is this is in the shade microcosm. And add that underneath as well. Those are the eyes. Moving on to brows. I always do my brows after my eye makeup in case I get anything a little too far in. I can always use the spoolie to brush the product out. And today I'm using the eyebrow pencil from Make Beauty. 
This is their blade line pencil and I'm using the shade Auburn. I like to start underneath and create the line that I don't want to go any lower than. Then I build up my arch and fill in the brow hairs that go down. Then I come to the beginning and build the front of my brow in little flicking motions. And this is a new product to me. And so far I'm really enjoying it. I like how waxy it feels. It doesn't feel goopy, but it also feels like it's going to stay, which I enjoy. And it seems to brush through really well. So that basically like colors the skin around my eyebrows. And while I do this side, let's see, I have two dogs. I have a woolly Siberian Husky called Kiowa. I didn't know Huskies could be woolly, but he is a long haired Husky. And he is seven years old. I also have a very active 10 year old Black Lab Border Collie mix. She was just as hyper as the day we picked her up from a local farm at eight weeks old. She's wild. All right, to set the brows in place, I am trying the Sculpting Brow Tint from Make, and this is also in the shade Auburn. The packaging is very luxe and heavy feeling. I believe it's a glass tube. Here's what the wand looks like. And it's kind of a big wand and it's oblong shaped. So because I have blonde brows, I do typically always go in with a tinted brow gel because it's not enough just to tint the skin underneath. I need to tint my actual brow hairs as well. And after brows, I like to do mascara. Uh, my favorite curler at the moment is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I recognize that Shiseido is not cruelty free. So if you have any recommendations for a brand that's cruelty free that has a really good eyelash curler, I have long lashes but they point straight down so they might as well be non-existent. I really need something to come in there and curl them pretty intensely. So if you have any recommendations, um, please do let a lady know. I am taking my favorite CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, and this is the waterproof version. So even when I wear not waterproof mascara, typically I'm adding a layer of this underneath because it truly keeps my curl better than most anything I've tried. My favorite lower lash line mascara. It might seem extra to use too, but I really enjoyed this one from number seven. I like how small the brush is and I like how it picks up my lower lash without making it crazy clumpy. And this is a tubing formula, so it washes off with warm water. All right, I feel like I lost some of that blush while I was working on the eyes, so I'm just going to add more blush. Never have too much blush. I also feel like I need more of that bronzer, so I'm going to grab that as well, especially right here where the blush and bronzer meet. Right, 
picking one of my all-time favorite lip liners. This is Hue. It's one of the suede lip liners from Makeup by Mario. I like it because it's so similar to my own lip color. And because I have such a full bottom lip, I do like to emphasize my cupid's bow, just so it's a little more balanced out. And on the lips, I'm going to take the same color that's on my cheeks. And again, it is the shade Swelter from Make Beauty. And I'm going to work that into the lips. without any kind of precision. And now I'm adding Life's a Peach from Rena Beauty. I'm mixing those shades together so my lip isn't too, too bold. but it still has the same color family we're working with on the cheek. All right, and zoom me out. Judge the hair, push up the eyelashes. And that is a very simple, like, mermaid look. Please let me know if you have any more questions for me. And uh, one more time, it's Holly Beth Makeup on Instagram. Let me know if you came from there. And I always say, be blessed and be kind. And it has nothing to do with like hmm, religion or anything like that. What I mean when I say be blessed, be kind is be blessed. I'm wishing you all the best. And be kind is you, is kind of my call to you to give your best to others. So I always end everything with be blessed and be kind, my friends. As always, any space that I host is a safe space. So feel free to ask questions and leave comments. And I hope to see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.